station with the best, 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 best music. Best music. I love the music. Best music. Yes, sir. Welcome back to 947 The Link. It's your boy, DJ Cody Making Moves. I got my boy LaDon in the building. How you doing, bro? Look, look. Don, I'm doing good, bro. I'm you good. Did. So, look, man, on my show, I always do a current event. So, what we do is we bring you real facts and real opinions. And I just want to start off by shouting out Dr. Dre, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar, 50 Cent. On their Super Bowl performance, they actually won two Emmys. And uh, I'm going to read the Emmy off, y'all. Check it out. It's called the Outstanding Variety Special Live. So they got an Emmy for that. And then Outstanding Production Design for the Variety Special. So that was just a whole mouthful. But what's up with you, Ladon? How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I can't complain, brother. I'm great. Yeah, Thank you for sitting through my little announcements. You know what I mean? You're good, right. man. You're good. Yeah. I appreciate that. That was some... Facts I need to know. Now, nah, real talk, that's hard, right? That's Who thought hard. you could win an Emmy from a Super Bowl performance? That that's was crazy. Thirty minutes. That's crazy. Yeah, that's Thirty minutes. So they got, so they got all that money, and I mean, they got Emmys. You know, way more money come with Emmys. You did. Yes, but, uh, but the game got some nerve to be this is fifty cent right now. He's like, this is my opinion. So we're gonna get into the opinion part. Gave you the real fact, and this is the real opinion. But I'm gonna tell you how it went before I give you my opinion. So the game's like, as soon as I see fifty, it's on sorry. And then 50 like, ah, you just mad because I got an Emmy from the Super Bowl performance that you wasn't invited to. <laughs> That's crazy. Have you ever had somebody hate on you like that? Oh, of course, man. It's like it. You That's know, crazy. Come with. What, what you call that? Is that like, is that like, I don't know. That's some different kind of hate right there. Uh, petty hate. It comes with it, though. It comes you with got it. any situations? Um, my baby, you got any situations like off the top of your head where somebody hated on you? In the past it happens, or recently? It happened right now. Yeah, you know, know, it's weird. It's weird energy. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like people are happy for me, and then sometimes I feel like people uh, really don't want me to make it. They just kind of saying like, "Hey, keep going. I'm proud of you," but low key, they don't. You know. Yeah. You feel it, and I, uh, it, it's whatever, man. Like I said, it comes I with it, and I. And then sometimes I don't take it personal. I think I think we all grow up with a little, you know, animosity towards situation or feeling like I know sometimes. I've had to stop myself when I've seen people prospering and I'm mad at them for something I should be mad at myself for. I'm the, I'm the one not, you know, fulfilling my potential. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, so sometimes you got to look, you know, look. Uh, and you know, sometimes, sometimes when you get mad at stuff like that, it's really, you ain't even mad or hating on that person. You kind of mad at yourself that you slept on the opportunity and they kind of just didn't. I mean, I don't know how to explain it really because like, I don't have felt like that. Like, I wasn't really hating on them or mad at them. I'm just kind of mad at myself, like, dang, I had the same opportunity they had, but they kept going. Mm -hmm. I didn't, so that's where I got the results I got. Mm -hmm. And then I've been on the other side of that where I kept going, and I look back on people when they did, and they realized why they got the results they have. Mm -hmm. You did, but it's your boy Cooley making moves. So look, man, I'm going to ask you, coming out of Cartersville, and I know you've been all over the world, so like for real, so. Like, have you got more love outside of Cartersville or coming up as a teenager in Cartersville? Oh, that's a tricky question. I've never been asked that. Um, honestly, I get I get more love out naturally outside of Cartersville because I'm different. It, it sounds different. And then, um, you know, I feel like when I do showcases outside of Cartersville and I let them know I'm from Georgia, I'm from Cartersville, I tell them where I'm from, tell them my story, they naturally gravitate. Then when I'm back home, and you know, I know it's love, but it's love in a different way. It's like, yeah. hey, it's love for Terrence. Right. It's not love for Ladon. So, you know, I, but that's I'm, you know, I'm, I'm making that happen, man. I think that comes with the music. And the more I grow, and the bigger I get, yeah. I'm shouting out to it. Yeah, we straight. And then, you but know, don't forget, you was a cool guy growing up. I know you went to Cass and everything. Yes, sir. But they still yes, loved you according to me. Like I yeah. hear about you all the time. Yeah. Even before I even knew your face, really looked like I was hearing about you. So it's like. I mean, you got a little love out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got Don't forget man. that. You got love. Yeah, you know, like, I, I give love, man. So that's yeah. why I think, I, you know, I have love. I, I try to give a lot of love. I leave with that. Yeah, that's really. big. So uh, I heard you wish you went to Cartersville. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 never. Never, never. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to lie. I was mad. Yeah. When I initially left. Yeah, I was hey, look, hold up, man. Let's go ahead and look. Look, I ain't no traitor now, but let's go ahead and shout out the 08 Cash Colonel, man, with the other. Uh, Richard Samuel days. Yes, oh, man, yes, that was the only time y'all caught Cardi Bill slipping. Yes, sir. Real yes, talk. Sir. Shout out to them 08 
kernel of that. But yeah, so like, what's up? Like, do you feel like there's a difference between a Cardi Bill person and a Cash person? Uh, not really, because I think it's too many ties. A lot of people are related. Yeah. It, it sort of is, but but not really. You know what I mean? We all from Cardiffville. We all 10, 15 minutes apart. Are y'all more country than Cardiffville? Uh, no, because Cardiffville got country people too. I mean, y'all got Kingston though. Yeah. <laughs> y'all got you Harley. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You yeah, got Willard though. Willard, Willard had it. Man, uh, I'm from Summer Hill. Shout out Summer Hill, man. Yeah. Shout out my mama one more time. Yeah, shout out to shout the Perry yeah. Junior. Yeah, yes, shout out my grandma. See, I, look, somebody gonna be like, yo, you didn't shout me out. I can't shout everybody out. That is gonna be impossible. It's you know what I mean? Video, if you're from, if you're from Fort Hattie Street, shout out. If you're from Arby Street, shout out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hill Street, shout out. Jones Street. You know what I mean? What we doing? Bartow Street? <laughs> <laughs> now, hey, you got everybody with that. Now, shout out to X's 288 store too, man. They're doing some big things over there. It used to be formerly Nate's. Shout out Nate. If Nate out there somewhere, if he just magically listening, shout out to Nate, man. Did you ever experience the Nate days? Oh, definitely, man. I remember having to, uh, you know, scramble up five dollars to try to give me a little, a little juicy, yeah. a little couple chips, uh, you know, white tea back then. White teas was a big thing. I used to some good ones too. So. That's why I grabbed my uh, my first mixtapes. I had that uh, Space Invaders. Had that uh that PSC that Ti with the uh you know PSC the whole clip Prince yeah. Boy clip yeah I had got that uh paper trail from over there <laughs> I had that uh now I got a chicken talk from over there <laughs> by two X yeah. I, I don't know if nobody remember this there used to be a store over there by the old two X uh dang over there by Family Dollar and Beauty View I think. You know what I'm talking about? Little yeah. store down I know about Beautiful View, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, That's what people used to get the grills back in the day. Yeah, so like, it was another store over there, though. They had mixtapes, and I bought that chicken talk when I was 15 years old. It was like 2006, 2005, something like that. It was like a record store? It was an everything store, but it was yeah. right beside Beautiful View. And it was like, I was like, dang, I got two of these little stores. But anyway, that's big. So, like, um, tell us, what was the first song you made in Cartersville? First song I made in Cartersville was probably it's a song I haven't even dropped. Yeah, yeah, it's Why a song I haven't even dropped. It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. But uh now realistically uh Pharaoh Hieroglyphics. Uh yeah, Pharaoh Hieroglyphics. It was it was oh, produced nice. uh by uh, DJ Castro. So it was Oh Castro Castro. Castro. Yeah, it was, yeah definitely he made the beat. Shout out L D. Yeah, shout out L D and then I uh, um you know I, I Took off from there, man. I started working with different people and started working with different beat makers. I had got one for Buggy early. Okay. I had got one from um, K Lawrence. K Lawrence. Shout out Buggy. Yeah. Shout out K Lawrence, yeah, man. man. K Lawrence, come back to the game. Yeah, man. He was uh, he's still cold from things. So yeah. I had got beats from a little bit over, man. A little bit of Edgewan. I had Edgewan too. I don't even know if you you know he made beats, but yeah, I got one for Edgewan. Okay. Yeah. So you know, it, I had got a lot of a lot of love on that, man. Yeah. So. um What's the name of the project right now? Like, what's the, what song are you pushing right now? Uh, right now, I'm pushing High Risk and Soul Soul. Those are some feel good songs, man. Them definitely good for the soul. But my next project, I'll be dropping like late October, early November. It's Back in Business. Back in Business? Yes, sir. Tell us about Back in Business. Back in Business. All, I think all rap, man. All, all rap. Sometimes, you know, I get caught up in making too much of uh, feel good music that I miss that rap. That's the first thing I fell in love with, that element of rap, yeah. that element of hip hop. So, uh, yeah, man, sometimes, you know, people be asking, man, I want, I want something hard. I want something hard all the way through. So I'm definitely fulfilling that purpose. And back in business is how I'm feeling. I feel like uh, I've only dropped one project this year. And usually I'm dropping three in one year. And uh, so it's just that feeling, man, of back in business. Okay. So look, what we're going to do is we're going to get y'all into this high risk. But we're going to come back and we're going to ask LaDon, what does it take to drop a project from LaDon? Not what you feel like everybody should do, but what it take? What does it take for you to drop your project? Yes, sir. We'll be right back. It's your boy Cooley making moves. Ninety four seven only keep it locked. It's that high risk. Let on the station with the Cooley making moves. What's, What's up, Don? How we doing, bro? What's, What's up, up, man? What's up? We back What's with it. So, what does it take to do a project from the Don? Takes a lot of hard work. Yeah, you know that stuff is not easy. Um, I think I make it simple. I used to try to um, mess with a lot of, a lot of producers, a lot of different, you know, beat makers, and now I just make it simple with just me, one beat maker, and an engineer. Do you be have to pay for your beats and stuff? Oh yeah, of course. Nothing's free. Everything I do for, everything I do, I pay for, yeah. and I make sure I, I pay so for what it's worth too. You don't do like lease beats? 
Yeah, yes, I started that way. But now it's better for me. I think it's exclusive. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah, because I mean, some people, just, they get an exclusive. They know they're going to push the song and put some money behind exactly. it. But they at least in the face of just trying to see what it do. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. I, I, I leave singles, and um, I try to make them uh, my project exclusive beats. And my all, now my first couple, my two, maybe three projects, I had a lot of these beats on. And then after that, I started doing it because of that same simple fact you said, just telling them I'm going to push it. Okay, I'll be. Hey, it's, uh, so about high risk, that was pretty tough, man. Like, where was, do you remember where you was at when you wrote that, or did you did you write, or did you just go right in the booth? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, well, I write, man, I make sure I write. Um, I can go in the booth, I can do either or, but um, I was with my brother, actually, and uh, I was in Seattle with him. So I charged? Yeah, so I charged, man. Shout out to, to the big guy. Yeah, man, I was with him, and um, I don't know, I was going through something, I was just talking to him, and then uh, he actually said something like, man, would you, would you risk it all or something like that? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, and it stuck with me. And, and that night, I remember waking up and it was just on my mind. I just wrote it. And I, I wrote that, and man, that's the 20 minutes. Like, awesome. It just felt good. Yeah. I heard the beat and it felt good. And that's how the best songs are. Like, it just felt good. And you just go in there and you just get it off your chest. But I definitely like that. It's like a little ride vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my ride, like, see, this is where I like. like I hit up my boy Oppo, man. I ain't trying to. You know, shout out to the rappers on your joint, but yeah. you know, shout out Apo like. Yeah, Apo got a song. Yeah, see, like I put, I put like his whole album in like my little like one of my personal playlists. So it be his song be coming up at random. Mm -hmm. You always do too. Yeah. And uh, even Julio Corleone, mm -hmm. his because cause I just do all y'all in there and y'all song be coming up at random and they be hitting. Cause I be like halfway down seventy five or something. You know what I mean? Like I just yeah. be on the highway. But like, okay, yeah, okay, I'm like, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. So like. So that high risk, if I just heard that just pop on, I'm just gonna let it ride. Yes, and it's gonna go hard. Yes, sir. You know so, uh, so 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 don't have clean on any of it. So is that clean? Cause yes. I wanna get into yes, so so. Clean. Yes, sir, it's clean. That was clean. That's a clean song. Well look, we're gonna be right back. We ain't gonna you know, ain't gonna prolong. We're gonna get in this so so real quick. It's your boy Cootie making moves and look, don't forget, this is a real eyes, real lies, real live show, okay? And we gonna always keep them haters hating with that shit thumb. And we gonna bring you real facts and real opinions. It's your boy Cooley Bitch. Yes, man. Welcome back to 947 and Link. It's your boy Cooley making moves. And I wanna thank everybody that's locked in right now. I'm still in the building with my boy Lil Don. What's poppin'? Lil, Lil, Lil Don. What's yeah. good, man? Appreciate y'all. Y'all been hanging on this whole time. I definitely appreciate you. So ladies out here, man, this is for y'all. And we about to talk about some little women talking just a little bit. I ain't gonna go too hard on y'all because <laughs> I love all of my ladies and all the ladies is not mine. And all the ones that's my cousins and aunties, sisters, brothers, not brothers, but sisters, mothers, and you know, just every type of woman. I'm in love. So, are you single, big dog? Yes, sir, I'm single. Oh, stop. And he's ready, <laughs> ready to mingle? Not yeah. Sure. So what's up? Would you date a Cartersville girl? No. Oh Lord! Why are you saying it like that? Ain't nothing done that, man. That's enough. That's enough fishes in the sea. You ain't gotta pick out your own fish bowl. But I will say, bro. See, I don't know what to say, man. Like, so look, I feel you. it is enough fishes in the sea, but it ain't nothing like a country girl that <laughs> understands, that understands money management and understands like she ain't gotta be transactional. Yeah. Cause I don't like transactional women, man. And like out here in the city, it's like they forget that yo, this ain't about what I can give you or what you can give me. It's about like, are we locking in? Are we connected? Yeah. Cause you be seeing the big girl with the black dude all the time in the country. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, uh, you see it. You're right. You're right, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're right. Like, you're right. But that's that's plenty of country, man. That's, that's plenty of country around here. Yeah. They got country women in Mississippi. Yeah. The that's what I was, I'm not, yeah. Alabama. See? South Carolina. So you got hey, there's women out here. There's, there's, <laughs> hey, there's somebody for anybody out here. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, this girl from uh, North Carolina, man. She's so fine. Oh man. Hello. What's Hello. Hello. I don't know if she listening, but she'll know what that means. But yeah. check this out. Goodness gracious. I was like, dang. Okay. Yeah. Like I thought she was gonna be like one of these city girls. You know, not not literally city girl JT and uh, young Miami, but like city girls it's like kinda like just moving too fast, ain't got no time. She ain't got no kids. So usually mm -hmm. women with no kids ain't got no time. Cause they just I don't know, they got all this work. And yeah. look, you are have a you do have a lot of work, but a lot of times, you know, they don't give you run for your money because they feel like they're so valuable and that you gotta work for it or whatever that um 
that mindset is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, most definitely. But she seemed cool. I mean, I don't know where we going from here. I just slick got a little crush. I ain't really made no big moves in that. Mm -hmm. But there are out here like that perfect kind of little country girl that's still beautiful. You know what I mean? She ain't got to be the the big girl that you know what I mean that you just selling for or no offense if y'all doing that y'all no offense to that like you know and they probably ain't even selling you everything they want mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying yeah. but sometimes dudes do you know they be they don't got what they want going on for their life and then they just kind of lazy and they like when a woman take care of them and certain type of women take care of men you know what I mean yeah, most definitely bro right. but uh but yeah like what's your type of woman bro well, you know, I'm a type of woman, I, I think uh, spiritually she has to be in tune with herself. And I love a confident woman. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not really into looks like that because uh, I think looks can go. You know, you can you can get stung by a bee and you know, the whole face swell up and never yeah. turn. You know, return to the same. So that's just how it is, man. I, I'm not into looks. I really care about uh, seeing how a person see how a person you know takes care of themselves outside of the relationship. Because sometimes I think we get blinded in a relationship and we get so focused on, you know, getting the everyday task done that sometimes, you know, I think everybody needs their own space to, to blossom into their own person. I love watching a woman blossom into her own person and, and that right yeah. there, that's the type of woman I love, that's the type of woman I need. Facts. That's like, all I'm doing, man. See, I, like, I, like, I like something like that too, but I ain't gonna lie, man, like, I like, for some reason, man, I like, like, I don't know how to put this, because I would say hood girls, but I don't <laughs> like hood girls that with the dirty feet type of thing. like ratchet. The slider I mean, ratchet. Booty like, with a slider ratchet. Like, she'll beat a girl up for me. <laughs> or she'll beat anybody up for me right now. Like, all right, don't let me put on you. You know, kind of like Rashawn Rock, but not like Rashawn oh, Rock. Not no, <laughs> not no, like, she's about to fight everybody. Yeah. But, like, it's a little something she got going on. I do like that little crazy stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, I don't know, but I like, I like one that's like, Ah, that's like the bite your head off kind of like not even bite your head off but just semi-aggressive but not aggressive I like you know what I'm saying I don't even know how to explain it yeah, like but that. yeah bah that, and, I, and you know I don't experience that before that's why I'm saying okay I like that but I'm trying to mix that with something else I like you know what I mean mm -hmm. but um so like what's the you are you like a skin tone type of dude oh no yeah, I definitely love my black women you know what I mean? I, mean? Like, I, I don't. Yeah. I can. I can date outside my race, but I think black women are is my main, my main focus. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Quote unquote <laughs> light skin. Oh no, no, no! I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't have. A I, don't have I really don't have a type when it comes there. Yeah. I really don't have a type. I, I really don't. It, it you like older women? Yes. No. Yeah. Um, and I really don't. What's I, the oldest lady date? I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> if you tell me, I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Nah, mine might be the age I say, but she don't look that age. Boy, I told you. Seven. Nah, you ain't, you ain't saying this shit. You ain't saying this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little good. too far ahead of myself yeah. on that one. I can tell you how old I was, though. So. How old I was I was seventeen. Oh, you talking about? I was no no no. She was she was old. Oh, she was I was I was seventeen. <laughs> I was young. I was super young. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Yeah. Ah, that's funny. I like that. Yeah, was when I first got my first older woman, I was like 25, 24, something like that, 25. And she was like, I can tell you about this one because yeah. this ain't the oldest one, but she was like 39. And oh, I was yeah. like 25. Yeah. And we was hitting it out because I've always been an old soul. That's why I love being with Cartersville because when you come out to the city, like, some of these dudes just, they didn't sit on the porch with their grandmamas and granddads and aunts and uncles and stuff. And they wasn't like out there cutting grass and learning like how to. They don't even know how to change uh, smoke detectors out here, dog. <laughs> <Those> tires. <laughs> Real tough. Or tires. tires. Like, we know how to change they'll, they'll brakes. Triple a. They'll triple A some stuff in a heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. these city boys don't even know how to, like, change a smoke detector. This girl really, I was, like, letting her vent. And she was like, yeah. And, like, I had a dude. I had this dude living with me. And when I came home, he said, hey, you need to change the smoke detector. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, you live with you gonna know how to change the smoke detector? Yeah. And she said she had to get up there and change it. She got on YouTube or something. I was like, oh, heck no. Do you know any like dudes like that that's just irresponsible? No, I, yeah, I was one. I was one, no, one time. Sometimes you can say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Well, <laughs> I, used to, I used to be one. I think, yeah, we all know somebody. But yeah. I think you gotta grow into that. You gotta grow into that, man. It's, men have to grow into to, to manhood and women have to grow into womanhood. That's all it is, man. So, what you mean by that? Do you feel like. Uh, a man 
Like, cause some men feel like when they get a certain amount of money, they grown or they they the man now. Like, how you feel about a dude that just think they got the bread and they think they still mature? I think that's like I said, that's it varies from the person, but. A lot of people think that I think with men it's the money, with women is they have a baby. I think maturity, yeah. emotional maturity is hard, bro. We, yeah. I, I know you probably know somebody 50 years old that's a emotionally immature yeah. and can't handle a situation the right way. You know what I mean? You yeah. probably know your that's nephew crazy. or niece that's yeah. more mature than you. You like, you know what? You handle situations better than I do. Yeah, that's real. But, and that's all it is. Sometimes they don't even have an age on it. Sometimes it's just it, it's all what it takes. And uh, it's all about how you're being raised too. Because sometimes people just acting on what they what they know, what they think. That's real. Yeah. Well, you heard it right straight from the guys. We all, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little single. Ain't saying I'm linking up with nobody, nothing right now, because I'm trying to focus on myself. Yeah, but right. yes, sir, we focus. if it's right, then it's right, and we can keep it moving. But you know what I mean? Shout out to my mom. They want me to have a kid so bad. Thank, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I ain't gonna say thank God I don't have no kids, but thank God that, yeah. hey, I'm still here. And, yes, you sir. know what I mean? I ain't really pressed about no kids. You got kids? No, sir. No, I sir. Ain't what you waiting on, bro? I'm waiting on you. As soon as you have yours, then I'm going to have mine. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, like, I ain't going to lie. Like, I just always knew that, okay, I can have a kid right now and it might mess my life up. But I already know that it ain't going to mess my life up. But according to the way I'm living right now, yeah, I'm not strapped. Like, I don't got no stability right now. I mean, I, I ain't talking about right now. I'm talking about back in the day when I could have. Like, I, got, I actually do have stability. But back when I was living in my, like, couch surfing, I don't know everybody on couch sir, but yeah. those were the days where I really could have had a kid. Like, and in college, you know what I mean? Um, I could have definitely had a kid. You know, things happen. You know, you had to make like little decisions. I ain't talking about no abortion, but yeah. you had to make decisions that you know, like, do I want to do this or not? You know yeah. what I mean? Well, but I could have had a kid back in those days, but I wasn't stable. Like, I was in college, I had no money for real. I was just living on campus, and even when I got out of college, like, I started building a DJ career for real, the right way. So I've just never really been in a situation to have a child because mm -hmm. it might have messed up my, my DJ gigs. That's where it comes to at this point. Like, I just got everything the way I wanted. And, like, me having a child right now could alter that. But the best thing my mom ever told me is, like, you ain't going to never be ready for no kid. Like, yeah. you just never going to be ready. So you can keep saying, I want this, I want it to be like that. But fact is, you ain't going to never be ready. Yeah. Yeah, you just got to jump in. You're right, man. You work, that's how it works. But yeah, man, look, we're gonna um I'm about to get y'all into some Cardi B, Bruno Mars. You know what I mean? That please me. Because you know, every man want their woman to please them. And look, ladies, if I gotta say one thing, all right, y'all? Ladies, don't use sex as a weapon against your man, all right? And I'm gonna say that one more time. Don't use it as a weapon because he's gonna go find it somewhere else. It's gonna happen. He dropped in jail. It's gonna happen. Especially <laughs> if you're using it as a weapon. Like, man, that's how we bond with you. Like, and I know that's sick, but it's a deeper meaning to that. Like, we have, men have sex, and then we bond. I don't know. That's how we lock in with y'all. You know what I mean? That's how y'all get that, that that feminine energy out of us, that whole loving on you, like, loving you thing. So it's like, if he ain't doing that, then, you know, he mentally can fall out of love with you. <laughs> like, and I mean, look, I, we can talk about that all day, but I just want to let y'all know, look, Cardi B, Bruno Mars, please me, baby. Let's get it. Yeah. We got a dog story. What you doing? That's a loud. Every friendly in a kill. Drinking raw, drinking raw, kill. Woo. Hold on, we're going to let it ride out. Hold on. Crazy. I met Dolph in Paris Airport one time and like 
9, 10 in the morning that time. And uh, so we had flew, we had like a late flight, and I never knew he was on my flight, or I don't even know if he was on my flight, or actually just uh, we both were landing at the same time. So uh, I was flying to Austria, and uh, and I'm we're in the typical, you know, in the airport, you're looking for your flight, and I see a, I see a tall cat with a lot of PRE chains on him. I'm like, dog? And this is 2000, maybe like 17. Okay. And um, I'm like, dog? And he look at me, and he go, yeah, what's up? And I go, oh, snap. So, you know, I start talking to him a little bit, asking him where he's going. He asks me where I'm going. I tell him where I'm going. And he sounds just exactly like I rap. He's like, oh, you pimping, huh? Like, and I was like, yeah, man, what you doing? What you doing in Paris? And he's like, man, I got a prince flying me out to Dubai. Prince, dog. Like, yeah, prince. Yeah, he was doing big things, definitely. And uh, we talked, man. We chopped it up for like 10 minutes. And I had just told him I started rapping. And he had basically told me to stay focused. And the typical spill, the spill on yeah. that. Like, but, um. Yeah, no, he was real cool. He was humble, man. And it, it was cool because, like, we both was tired, you can tell. So we didn't talk too much, but we walked and talked. And uh, I made a little joke. I was like, bro, you know, I, if we was back home in Atlanta, I would not be able to get this close to you. And he started laughing, you yeah. know. But, uh, man, RIP the dog, man. That's a real story, too, man. Oh, That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, man. Yes, sir. I got a little young dog story. I got a little young dog story. I ain't beat him, but I would like, you know, I was working with him. Yeah. Nah, like, this is when I had first got back to uh, Atlanta from Savannah. I was cow surfing and sleeping in my car and stuff. But, like, I had worked with the street team with Street Exec. So, he used to, uh, Street Exec used to be his management. And I used to be working with EO, Charlie, um, Charlie Bay, all these people. Uh, Dono Dorsey. This is a lot of different names I could name. You know what I mean? And, like, this is back when you would just see Travis Ford just walking through there. Like, it ain't nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you wouldn't see two chains, it was way more exclusive, but two chains was being managed by them at all. So the whole so this was the camp, this was their lineup right here. They had two chains, young dog, uh they had two chains, young dog, bankroll fresh, Travis Porter, and Chanel. Mm -hmm. So we was uh we was out there, uh we was just out passing out ACDs, I was the street team. I was more the street team, but this particular time I was the street team. And like we was out there passing out. Uh, I thought everybody wanted that two chains and that Travis Porter, but they were like, yo, let me get that bankroll first. Mm -hmm. And then the other half people were like, yo, let me get that dog. I was like, dog, high class street music. Like, what is this? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, dog. That's when it was like, dog. You feel me? But like, yeah. dog was picking up. Like, shout out to my brother Josh White. He actually was like one of the first people that vouched for young dog. Cause like, he, I knew about dog, but my brother, I, I saw him listening to dog. Yeah. I was like, dang, Josh White dog. I must be missing a, I must be missing something, you know what I mean? Cause like Josh, my brother Josh, he always like the wild card that nobody's gonna really like. He used to like Jim Jones and stuff like that. Like he always like a wild card that's actually good, yeah. but we don't know yet, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's Josh. Too. Like you, an independent artist, my brother Josh will probably mess with you. Yeah. But like, but yeah, but, but Darius, you know, he would always be on like the hottest artist who's supposed to be hot right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And but he still the dog introduced us to it. But anyway, dog was heating up. They asked me that bank roll fresh and that dog. And um, I just couldn't believe it. And then as time went, dog dropped that by mistake, the song you just listened to. Mm -hmm. That's how I got on dog. And I was like, all right, yeah. dog. You know what I mean? But that's my little dog story. It ain't yeah. just yours. Like, we no, went to Austria. No, no, and then we met up. And then no, 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 no. We was in Paris. We was in Paris airport. No. Oh, was, oh, yeah, I was in Paris. We was, in, we, we was in Paris. We was in the layover. We both had a layover. Oh, you so was in like, Paris. Yeah, I just bumped into him, man. It was cool. It was real cool. That's awesome. Because at first, he kind of was like shaky about like am I paparazzi? You could tell he was like, man, what you doing? Talking. And then when he seen my Georgia hood, he like, oh snap! Like you just you just a fan. Like yeah, you just somebody listen to my music. And so, you know, it was cool, man. So how you feel about that? Like I feel like I got fans, but I don't call nobody a fan because they don't they just don't see me. Like yeah, do you ever see yourself being able to just call people fans? No, nah, I'm not a supporter. I'm always calling supporters yeah. though because I even hey I even um got an acronym ST with it like supporters man SP my SP speaking too. Uh, you can find me on all platforms, Ladon underscore music. My IG is Ladon underscore music. My website is LadonMusic.com. Uh, my music available on all platforms. L-A apostrophe D-O-N. Again, L-A apostrophe D-O-N. And uh, yeah, man, supporters. I, I can't look at people as fans because I'm a regular person. I put my pants on the same way you do. You know what I mean? I, I can't survive a, a, a bullet to the head. No better than the next person. So it's like we the same, man. We the same. We the same people, so uh, yeah, supporters. That's what I did. Mean, I still, fair. girl, you still mine too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but some some people really do have fans. I think when people, when Michael Jackson, yeah, he had fans. He had no, Mike, no. Out. Come on, yeah, Mike. Yeah, that's Mike. That's Mike. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Once they become stalking, I think that's when you call them a fan. But no, I got real supporters, man. I love that's my supporters. Good, Shout out to y'all, man. So speaking of like supporters, so like I was on Instagram, man, and like I be trying to clean my Instagram up, right? Yeah. So I was trying to go unfollow so many people, but I was like, dang, I know this person. Oh, I know this person first. I know this person first. I met them in person, got their Instagram. We were cool, and we still they were longer than they see me. Yeah. And like I couldn't even unfollow nobody. Just got to follow nineteen hundred. Yeah. So I actually know nineteen hundred people. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. How was your? Is, do you know more people in the streets or on your Instagram? Oh, definitely in the in the streets because I, I know a lot of people that don't even have Instagram. That's not even like on Instagram. Like yeah. some of my closest friends, not even really on this Instagram. They might go in there and look at stuff, but they don't they don't post. They're not active. And it's weird. Um, Seeing people, you ever seen somebody you've never seen before, but only on Instagram or on on social network, and you see them in person, person yeah. and you like, I know this person was somewhere, but yeah. you can't. Then you're like, it's the weirdest thing. So, uh, you know, living in today's world, man, you see that a lot. Have you ever, uh, like, just like just saw this rapper on Instagram, and like all these rappers that you saw on TV that you <laughs> respect so much, yeah. and then when you met them in person, it just wasn't it. It wasn't what it was. Nah, man, it's like that. I, I, I've Experience that so much. I'm realizing that every day. Yeah. Every time I fall through some of these studios with some of these rappers, it's not. Or he not really rapping, or this, you know. So it's it, you. It's so much, man. It's so much. I, I, had, to this. I had to run in like that. It was like one of these rappers out here that be doing like player stuff with him. Just the music doing that player stuff, and I was like identified with him. Like, mm. I know my dad don't love this, but like my dad love that UGK. Yeah. All like Outkast, A Ball, M J B like real. All that kind of stuff. So too short. I actually took yeah. a picture with too short. I met him. And that's it. Yeah. Shout out too short. Yeah, he was like, too and too short was cool. Like, like he too short is too short. Yeah. Let's put it like that. You know what I mean? And you can't forget some of these people are old. Too short like probably fifty. Yeah. Two fifty five mm-hmm. or something. But like too short is too short in real life. Shout out too short. But long story short, like I met this dude in person, bro. It just wasn't it. Like this is what when I I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? Well, this yeah. music, man, like, you can portray yourself to be whoever you want, especially with this Instagram and all this social media. Yeah. Like, it's just crazy, bro. Exactly. Like, but how do you really feel about that? Do you ever see yourself switching up? No, man, you know me. I'm from the Ville, baby. We don't do that. Yeah. No, I can't switch up. I think growth, and if people confuse that sometimes, but uh, I'm the same person, man. You know I'm approachable. I've always been approachable. Yeah. Uh, you know, you and you know what? Real with me. I'm going to go ahead and shout out Carter because, like, it's nothing like Cartersville or Rockmart or any Northwest Georgia spot. Like, even if they're in Rome, Georgia. Shout out to Rome, because Rome done booked me way more time than anybody in Cartersville. But look, long story short, yeah. but just to be real. But, uh, but like, go, like, going to the city, you really be able to appreciate the people you grew up with. Because, like, a lot of us who grew up, even if we thought you weren't real, you way realer than so many folks I done met out here. Yeah. Like, and we can hoop. Like, People be on certain levels hooping, and then like, I said, bro, y'all really ain't no better than nobody out there. Cartersville is hot, this spot. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I like, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all hooping too. Hey, hey, look, don't, don't think it's cheap. Don't come to Cartersville, don't come to the top gym that you finna come in with. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because the young bulls gonna get you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, long story short, like, salute Cartersville because look, man, we on to something good to keep. Like, all the older, like, the parents' things, we raising our kids while we raise them, you know. I feel like we raised some of our kids to be poor in Cartersville, but I take y'all being real over some of this fakeness that I'm meeting out here in the city. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. But, like, let's start doing that, too. Like, let's start teaching a little financial literacy. Let's start making it normal to be, to have a business bank account and to separate your money. You know what I'm talking about? And when you spend some money, find a way to make some money off of it. Like me, like even if I'm about to go to the store, like I learned how to be economical. Like I'm gonna put all my trip in one line so I ain't gotta just keep wasting a bit of gas. And if I'm gonna spend some money, I'm gonna find out a way to make some money off what I spent. Like even the littlest way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just a think you're a critical thinker, bro. It's just certain certain people right. have certain traits about themselves that can do that. And like, and now now a lot of cars with people have these traits. So if you let's say sorry if anybody smoking weed and you don't like it, but this is the great way. So if you didn't have no weed but you had no Lolo, what you gonna do? You gonna find your friend with some weed because he needs a Lolo. All those times you did that, you could.
could have did that same strategy with a business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, with your business. Like, that little principle right there, like, okay, I got a Lolo, but I don't have a bread. But my partner, he was asking me for a Lolo. So, supply and demand. You didn't have to bring no bread to the table, but you brought the Lolo. Because he can't smoke without it. He ain't got no car. And you got a car and a Lolo with no bread. I, I know what you mean. You're, you're putting forth the energy and what you really want to do. Than what you gotta do sometimes. Cause yeah. It's hard, bro. It's hard. Nobody wants to get up and work, but sometimes you yeah. gotta get up and work. You know? And like the same, but I'm just saying, the same way you can go get your next smoke in, yeah. we get creative when we try to get that next lunch yeah. or them or whoever. I, I don't have to deal with no stuff like that, but like people get creative when they try to drink alcohol. Like, you know what I mean? You might go the same way you be like, well, instead of buying this bottle, I ain't gonna drink the whole thing, and I ain't just gotta share with everybody. Let me go get me a couple shots, and I'm already be pre game before I get to the, the party. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Then I get that probably have one or two drinks. We need to put that mindset towards business, mm -hmm. okay? And like, okay, so I'm about to sell these shirts. I got three shirts. He got the print press, so let me go over there. Hey, I can use five dollars to use the print press, and then you charge thirty dollars for these shirts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, you definitely. need to think like that. Like, yeah. that's the same way, though. I got a roll he got the bud. I ain't got no bud, he got the roll no. So, yeah. Our ego sometimes, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But, uh, is but what's up, man? What, what else do we even know about Ladon that folks just need to know that they just really got messed up? Man, know that I'm coming, man. Know, know that I'm coming. I really love the music, and uh, I, I can't I can't really tell you what the future holds, but I think it holds something special. You know, I'm a... Uh, um, I'm an artist songwriter, you know. I display any, any type of creativity you need, even if it's on camera, some type of acting. I can do that to voice acting. So, you know. So what do you do? Like, so, have you ever seen a and R's like, your artist, so you messed up, so you messed yeah. up? How do you feel about that? That, I mean, I, I can rap. Yeah. I, I do you ever, like, time. submit stuff to the studio? Oh, yeah, sometimes. And I, I've done a couple showcases where I get it, and I'm, I've talked to some, a couple of labels. They just all want me to build my buzz. Uh -huh. To build my buzz, and I understand leverage. So that's all it is, you know? Yeah, that's what yeah. I, I got that before, yeah. too. I was yeah. DJing with another DJ. We had this smoke house. Mm. I was like, bro, you need to register all this bad boy. Fuck out this bad boy. Lit. And, um, you know, through the grapevine, I heard that I just got to get my buzz a little more, you know what I mean? Get more known. You know what I mean? Shout out to DJ MLK. I like it, you know what I mean? But, like, I ain't saying he said it, but, you know, through the grapevine, it's like, I just got to get my buzz up. And that was great feedback because people won't even tell you. Yeah. People just have you out here. You just like, man, they sleeping on me. Yeah. They sleep. No reason you feel like somebody's sleeping on you is because you don't know what you need to do next to get past that situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when somebody be like, hey, what you need to do, what you do, and then that makes sense, you won't feel like nobody's sleeping on you. Yes, you know sir. What yes, sir. And, um, but yeah, with the songwriter, like, how do you feel about paying for features? Do you pay people? For uh, yeah, I feel like if it's a value with it, if I know I can tap into your space, tap into your audience, and it's worth it. I have no problem paying. I, I pay for the right features. Like you know, I really. So will. at this level, of your career, let because like let's just be honest and modest. Mm -hmm. Like at this level, of your career, I'm not watching your pockets. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying how much money you make, how much you ever seen. But with you being an artist that might not be generating a hundred thousand dollars off your music, no, no, not at all. How much are you literally willing to pay for a feature? Like what's the most? Because I know you're not trying to pay fifty thousand for a feature. No, no, no. Right feature, that's what I'm saying. I will if it's the right feature, but um, it has to come something come with it. I'm not just gonna pay for a feature and and don't have a video or don't have some type of relationship or don't have a label clearance because a lot of people don't pay understand. Like 5, 000? Ten thousand. Are oh, you willing to pay that? Ten thousand. Okay. What should come with that? Though? What should come with it? A, a, a YouTube video. Um, definitely, it's not a YouTube. Uh, some type of online uh, content with you as an artist. Because the way I the way I am anyway, I want to establish it. So us so in now, the studio now, now that you say that, what artists, not any artist in particular, but like you can name because there's levels to this artistry. Yeah. So just to name an artist, like you, you know how to be talking about this artist, but like what artist is worth ten thousand dollars? Like what level artist? Like to me, is worth ten thousand dollars. Like, because mm. you know Kodak Black was a, a twenty thousand, yeah, forty, yeah. fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar artist. That, that's tough for man. a feature. Um, that's tough. Shout out K Kel. 
I don't know if he'll be with you. Yeah, K Camp. K Camp is one. K Camp is one. K Camp is one. I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel like he's robbing me for ten thousand. I feel like I, I'm getting my money's worth. Even if I wasn't to get a video, but I feel yeah. like he, K Camp makes great music. I like people that make timeless music and great music. Yeah. Music that we can go back and listen to and say, man, this was a good. This what about Lil Boosie? I think he be doing five. Oh man, six. Boosie is a legend. You know, yeah. but honestly, I would love to shoot. I gotta have a uh, a video. Yeah, I need a video with Boosie. That's what I'm saying. So he had a video where he was letting artists come to his house during the yeah. pandemic for like five racks or seven racks. And the Instagram be getting hacked. That's the only thing. I mean, yeah. we getting shut down. That's the only thing with Boosie. But yeah, yeah. each artist it varies. Boosie is a legend. So ten thousand, I wouldn't question. I, 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 I'm I, I grew to think. Let's there, go through so. the bricks real quick. Right. Yeah, we got the bricks out real quick. You know, Lil Baby ain't coming nowhere for no $3,000. Uh, young Boy ain't coming nowhere for $3,000. Right on back. Dereza Sean. Dereza Sean? You pay 10 racks for Dereza Sean? Yeah, I would, definitely. Shout out to Dereza Sean, man. Hey, it's 10 bands out there for you, Dereza. March 25th. What's your talking about? Because I don't know what your price is, but I mean, I think you might take some tears. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you would, though. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. No, it's worth it. I think good music, quality music. Quality music, you can't put a price on quality music. You can't. But the only thing is dealing with certain artists, is I'm pretty sure, not saying if any artists are a name, but dealing with certain artists, there's some, I like, like I said, I want that genius. How much you pay for a Fabo feature? That's good. Nah, I'm playing. Nah, chill out, man. I'm playing, I'm playing. Chill out, man. I need a video, though. Yeah. I, honestly, man, I, I pay, I pay Fabo to turn the party out for me. Yeah. For real, yeah. I pay him as a performer for him to feature. Yeah, that's all I need. Each artist is varied, man. They vary each artist. What about Lil Tessa? No. Hey. No, no offense, but maybe for my nephew yeah. party or something. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to see. Yeah. I think you should pay for a, a good R and B feature. And good R and B feature. What kind of R and B R and B artist type sound can go with the Lil Donna sound? Then they already go. Okay. Ella May. Ella Ma. I mean, LMA? I know Frank Ocean with. Frank Ocean, I definitely love Frank Yo! I love what Frank Ocean. Um, what's a good R&B? I love uh, Bryson Tiller. I love Black. Yeah. Biggity Black. Yeah, Black. I def Black is definitely Shout out Black Beats. Black is Black. I do 15,000 for Black. Yeah. Black make good music, man. He, he make good music. Guy, um, let me see. There's a lot of dope R&B artists right now. Um, is there any from Carterville? From Carterville? I don't know, but I know. Desiree Johnson. Yeah, but I, I know I got uh, Jerron, Jerron Applin. I don't know if you ever heard Jerron thing. I got Jerron. I'm trying to get him on my stuff. I think I think he's super talented. Uh, I'm trying to think of an R&B artist. No, I'm not for real. Shit, I think you would know maybe Yeah. Kilo, I know I heard Kilo some of, some of his stuff. I'm trying to think of R&B. Hey, shout out Jerry Venom. He's yeah. good for videos too. He yeah, doing yeah, JB, my boy, man. Funny stuff. You know I love JB. JB, my boy. You know what's crazy? Like Jerry always had that in him, man. But we was just playing football, and we just was, man. We just we old nine, man. Yeah, like yeah. if we would have came to high school like 2015, Jerry Venom would probably be viral. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like we got onto that social media stuff and just, I we just a little too late. Like I was still like, man, I'm in the streets. Yeah. Yeah, they ain't doing social media stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That's crazy. But like anybody else, you. Like that you want to work with, artist wise. Like it's somebody like that, a, that a Ross, a, a John Legend. What about somebody like realistic? Like I mean, they're realistic. Yeah, sorry, right. right. You know, they're they're good. Um, like our peers. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be a real Ace Polo. I don't know if, if people um know about him in Atlanta. He got a song right now going called Beat It. A Beat single it. right now. Cause we're using uh, Michael Jackson. Beat it. It's like a twerk song. But uh, Ace Polo, I think he's okay. about one Ace Polo. He, he's a dope artist in Atlanta. I listen to. I definitely shout him out. I don't, I don't feel wrong for that. Got more sway out there. Yeah. Kahori out there. Yeah. You know, it, it's a couple dope artists, man, but that's one for, for sure. I think I could definitely Ace make Polo. some music. Dude, what's his Instagram? One, one Ace Polo. One Ace Polo. Shout out one Ace Polo. You did. Um, but uh, shout out to Rick Ross, though, man. I ain't mean to say realistic because I want to work with Rick Ross, too. Yeah. And I, it, it can happen. You can happen. It can happen. It's realistic. It's going to happen. We're going to put it in position. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I definitely didn't mean to say realistic. No, you good, bro. I know, bro. I know. But like, but yeah, I just mean indie artists. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by realistic. But um, we do get uh, if you tune into the ninety four the link Instagram page, mm -hmm. you will see that we uh do do performances every Friday. Okay. We got one this Friday and next Friday, right? But uh, we teaming up with Scott Moore, uh, more booking. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
since the 16th, we're gonna have another showcase, and then this Friday we're gonna be at Gossip Lounge. If y'all just wanna come out and parlay with us, but uh, other than that, man, uh, we about to get back into this music. We gonna talk to y'all this whole time. Anything that you wanna say real quick? No, nah, man. Thank you to all, all the supporters, man. I might come back on here and do a little quick freestyle for y'all real quick. Matter of fact, we are gonna do a freestyle. Yeah. Thank you. Fun, we man. wasn't even gonna say that. Look, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. We could do a freestyle. Yeah, we gonna do a freestyle when we come back, but I might just start some music. Look, it's that. In the middle, 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 is we ready? Here we go. What we doing? People might have paid it. And they check. 947 on link. I appreciate it, man. It's all awesome. Freestyle. I'm here with my boy DJ Cooley, man. Cooley here in church. I'm going to give y'all a little something. We'll zip off, you know, back in business. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Bipolar on the beat, different verse, different side of me. Obviously, I'm doing what I'm doing. Are you not proud of me? Floors up, discussing contract. They highly doubting me. Look out for me. Not stopping till somebody crowning me. Hey, King, shh. Didn't ask for fate. Look at that rhyme for me. Look, look, look. Don, get used to the sound of me. Cool, calm, collective. Huh? My savings on retire. Banking on my streams. Offshore accounts. I'm overseas. Huh? Just catching the tempo. Two hands on the drive, huh? I copy tempo. Really take my time over this flow. My diamonds don't dance still. It's looking up to me like a disco, huh? You know I'm lit, yo. Turning all my cons into big pros. Always been a big bro. Super country, yeah, like my Kempo. Keep it a century. I'm not bragging, you just really in your feelings. You can't do nothing else than play position. A commander in chief, I take no prisoners. Opposite of Christmas. If they ain't in my class, then I dismiss it. Hey, Ooh, real quick snap, man. That boy said. Song. If they not in my class, then I dismissed yes, it. Yes, sir. You know what Man, I mean? Yeah, that's some heat, bro. Yes, sir. Let's get better. Keep them haters hating that check thumbing. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Hold up. Let's get that up. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Nah, hey man, anything else you want to say before you go, bro? Nah, man, just make sure you follow me, Ladon underscore music, or you follow me at LadonMusic.com. That's my website. But all my platforms, Ladon underscore music. That's my YouTube, that's my Instagram, that's my Facebook, that's my Twitter, that's my TikTok. Everything, man, Ladon underscore music. My music is Ladon, L A apostrophe D O N. Again, Ladon, L A apostrophe D O N. Yes, sure you sir. It's your boy Cooley. Look, we're gonna rock y'all out to some music for the rest of the show. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I might tap back in around by 257 and say bye to y'all. Or I might not say bye to y'all. I might just let you rock out. You hear me? Now just look, keep them haters hating and that check thumb. This is the real eyes, real eyes, real eyes show. It's your boy, DJ Cody making moves. What we doing? Was I on beat for a second? Oh, no. oh, damn. I feel like it's, uh, man, it started interfering. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, let me save it. Is it a way you can hear it? Yeah, I'm going to share it. Yeah. And, no, no. Oh, yeah. The recording. Oh, yeah. Is it a way you can hear the recording first? Yeah. Oh, I was like, Lord, I hope I'm on B. <laughs> you know me. Yeah. Cool. Hopefully, man, you can share that to some your people and they get get some little stuff off that. I know, I trust me, I can go back in, but I got I'm doing some cussing in that a little bit of it.